Our guest today is Kate McKinnon, who, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, you might know her oh, yeah. from somewhere. Episode three. That's right. <laughs> she uh, is a good friend and hilarious and a great member of the Big Gay Sketch Show. Kate McKinnon. So Kate, the welcome. Guests. Well, hello, thank you. Oh, Let's talk about welcome. Kate and Kate's thing. Yeah. Kate's so, in the Big Kate, Gay what Sketch is your Show. Thing? It's still under development. Because you're only it's like, what, 15? <laughs> Shut up. 23. I can go to bars. Yeah. I'm older than you. You can I go know. to bars. She came yeah. of age. You're I'm no sure. longer this spring I'm chicken. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I'm happy. Me. Younger than Lauren. Yay! <laughs> People <laughs> exist who are younger. That's great. So, how, so give us the, the, the quick version of how you got involved with the Big Gay Sketch Show. Right. Weren't you in college or right. high school? I'm, uh, I'm a senior at Columbia. I'm walking around on my campus. I get a phone call. My friend's like, I found your job. We're gonna go to the open call for this gay thing, and you're gonna get on it. And I was like, oh, Ted. And then I uh, went to the open call, whatever, whatever, got called back, whatever, bloody who, met Rosie, Amanda, Habadichu, that's And that you're on the show. Wow. It was, it was Pop, like, skip jump. um, being pooped into the world. I have not rapidly. seen this gay wow. sketch show. Can you give me a rundown of what the hell it is? It's it's like a gay, gay sketch show. Finding its feet. Yeah. It's gay sketches. It's like gay mad TV. Yeah. The director. Are there black people? Yes, there are two. two. Okay, good. Two good. Whole They won't allow there to be more than two. Are there black people? Yeah. Yeah. Like one's not gay. Yeah. Are there are there black women? One. 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 She's not gay, sadly. Okay. She's, not She's not gay? No, no. I know. It's then the a cool show world. sucks. There aren't any, I think you're the only black lesbian. They couldn't find any other ones. Right. No, there's DJ Toshi. Storm. Oh, and DJ Storm. And Toshi. Um, DJ Storm. I loved, I have to do a shout out for that Facts of Life skit. It, it's not like it was my favorite skit overall, but I have a special place in my heart for the Facts of Life. And what because is that? Are all just, about I grew up on it. My sister and I used to literally recite lines from it in the car mm -hmm. on long car trips. Can you yes. say something now? We had a sad, we lived in the country. We say didn't something have any now. Friends. Say well, something now. When the world never time. seems God. to be living up to your dreams. That's right. <laughs> say something. That's when you learn you about take the good, you take, take the bad lines. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So, yeah. so Joe and Blair get it together. And I, I should have known I was a lesbian because I could never decide Joe, you want who I wanted more. No, I wanted Joe, but I also kind of wanted Blair. And I I think I think it's because I was Tony riding I was 10, okay? Okay. You're a foot. I'm a foot. Yeah, you're yes. in between. That's what makes you, like, you know, want the butch. Most lesbians are footches. Foot. Yes, a foot. My That's first, what it is. The first woman that I ever loved was the woman who played Joe, who later had her own sitcom. Me you too. and her had a relationship? No. Oh, okay. Oh, well, <laughs> Nancy yes. McKeon, you're talking about. Nancy yeah. McKeon. Yeah. <laughs> who is oddly oh not goodness. gay. What's been your favorite part of doing the Big Gay Sketch Show so far? The whole thing was just so blissfully gay. I've been so spoiled. I went to a college where everyone's gay and I now work in an office <laughs> where everyone's gay and um, this was just like uh, my, my people. I was doing comedy for, maybe you felt this too, Julie. I think I feel I was it already. <laughs> doing comedy, not just for comedy's sake, but also with right. a sociological purpose. Yes. And I felt like I was, was amazing. helping uh, my people while uh, doing funny voices. Right. <laughs> Who's your best impersonation, do you think? In, in life? Yeah. Well, I've always liked doing Barbara Walters, <laughs> but it's really, it's Sherry O'Terry's Barbara Walters from, oh, from Saturday Night Live. <laughs> it was so funny when she used to do it. You did a mean Rachel Ray, though, in the show. I tried to do you Rachel did, Ray you in did, the do, show. You did, you did. What's that Rachel Ray? <laughs> Who have you found the hardest in. person to, to, that you've been asked to imitate? Ellen. I can't really? do Ellen. Why? I want to be her, but I can't, I can't do it. You know, when she first came out, <laughs> she, I don't know if she would do it the same way Again, she's had some career repercussions. Do you have any concerns about being out so publicly at such a young age? No. If I like should. But now I do. If yeah. I only did gay shit for the rest of my life, I'd be fine. I don't care. I think the act, the real underlying problem mm -hmm. is with uh, comedy that's uh, nuanced and sad and how that just never sells. Arrested Development, for right. example. I right, love right. that show. Right. show of all time. Also, really? the British version Her? of The Office. I love Her? that show. Just, um, Comedy that That's is actually, you know, grounded in tragedy. I'm a little sad as a person. Yeah. I like to, I like to infuse everything I do with, with that Something quality. Dark. Except that, that pe when people want sad, they go, you know, watch a sad movie like The Namesake, which is fantastic. Everybody should go see it right now. <laughs> but you know, the, the I actually really want to see that movie. If you want to, yeah. I mean, if you go to a place like, you know, it's called the Laugh Factory, come on. Right. I'm going to go in there <laughs> just the to be sad. I'm going to the Laugh Factory to be people, sad. But people, people, if, if people are given, 
you know, we have the Dave Chappelle show, and now we have the Mind of Mencia, and we have people with perspective-driven comedy. And if we were to just give people more of it, then they would start accepting more of it. But because there's a horrible, vicious cycle... It's sort of a chicken of and like, egg thing. It's just, yeah. yeah, it's just, you know, we have to appeal to 18, 35-year-old boys, and boys like farts, and boys like this, and they'll accept uh -huh. it if a guy says boys it, they'll farts. accept this if a guy says it, but he better hate his girlfriend, or else they can't accept it. What do you see yourself doing 20, 10, 20 years from now? I would kill to be on a show like Arrested Development, mm. like a, a seriously good television comedy. And so you will. You can manifest oh, that Julie, with a secret. <laughs> let's write it together. <laughs> okay, we're gonna make a show. You guys will see. <laughs> Aren't you doing stand up too? Aren't you doing? I'm start. Doing I'm doing stand up. stand up. I'm doing a one woman show. A one woman show. Oh my god, where, where, where are you doing where's it? Where's that? I'm just, well, okay, it's not. I'm not doing it yet. <laughs> But <laughs> I'm writing. Liar! A, I'm writing a one-woman show. Yeah. Oh, great! It'll be called Sad Lesbian Clown. <laughs> um, <laughs> you have a website. There we go. No, we're gonna work. Why on the heck that not? Too. You have a MySpace. <laughs> what the heck? MySpace. 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 Uh, I don't Kate, need them. Kate McKinnon. MySpace page. <laughs> Thank you all so much for tuning in. Uh, well, this has been a great show. Thanks, Kate McKinnon, for being on the show. We. This is our last show before the fall. So have a great summer, and we'll see you. We'll see you soon.